All right. Well, good morning, Hillcrest Middle School. Hope you're all doing well. Now, I'm not sure when you're going to see this because I am recording this before spring break, but I hope you all are having or have had an incredible spring break. Hope you got some rest. Hope you got outside. Hope you got off that screen um, and enjoyed what I think is going to be a beautiful week. Knock on wood right there. Um, a lot of things coming up here as well at Hillcrest Middle School. So this is the bulletin uh, for March 29th. No matter what, this is for that week that we return, March 29th, 2021. All right. Well, if you have opted to return to in-person instruction, we need to get you to come to campus and take a COVID test to make sure everyone is safe here when they return, because that is the most important thing, making sure everybody gets back safe and sound here to the campus. An email was sent out to your parents to schedule a window for you to come in and do your saliva test here at Hillcrest. One of the rare times we'll actually be told we want you to spit while you're at school. Sixth grade, your times will be Monday and Tuesday from 1 to 3.30. Seventh grade is Tuesday and Wednesday, 1 to 3.30. And eighth grade is Wednesday and Thursday, 1 to 3.30. So again, too, your parents received an email about this on a Google form to sign up for your time window. So please make sure they do that to return to in-person instruction. All right. Did you happen to miss picture day this year? Well, the Hillcrest uh, yearbook needs your photograph. Um, so what you're going to want to do is wear clothing that is appropriate for a school portrait. Take your picture in front of a neutral background like a wall or outside. Pictures should be from the shoulder up and use the JPEG format and email those photos to hmsyearbook at grav.k12.ca.us with your full name and grade as the subject line. That way we'll make sure you get into this year's yearbook. We also need your pictures of your pets. That's right, email your pictures of your pets to the Hillcrest yearbook team. Also to eighth graders, we need your baby pictures. That's right. We need to see what you were like when you were just a little one right there. We want to make sure we have that to kind of match up. As you're getting ready for a big milestone, graduating eighth grade and heading off to high school. So make sure you get in those eighth grade baby pictures. And on top of that, we're doing all the stuff for the yearbook. You better order a yearbook as well. Get those pre-orders in while you can. Deadline is April 26th. We sold out last year, so you're going to want to get that order in. Um, information for how to get that is in the Monday messages email that goes home to your parents. Shout out card as always will be out on uh, Wednesdays um, from one to two for those students who have, I'm sorry, from two to three for those students who have earned um, shout outs, which actually let's go ahead and get to those shout outs right now. Mr. Satiris has shout outs for, their, for students for their outstanding effort. Evan Weekly, Zach Schmidt, Armando D'Ambrosio, Cali, Cali Hario, Samantha Richmond, Jasmine Valencia, and Kenton Weekly. Ms. Krupp has a shout out to Jose Contreras Ochoa for, for displaying good leadership and focus last week um, in class time. Chase Osborne for positive initiative and improving focus and note taking this week. And Kendra Woodbury for consistency and initiative in completing assignments. Ms. Rich has a shout out for Shelby Smith for showing responsibility and commitment in the third trimester. Ms. Garson has a shout out to the first period language arts for their critical thinking skills and making surprising connections for their compare and contrast essays. Specific shout outs to Caden Quinn and Tejana Paletti for sharing their aha moments. Mr. Collins, uh, shout out to my entire first period class for resilience when we had a problems with Zoom. They knew what to do and didn't miss a beat. I also want to give a shout out to Chase Bellotti for great participation. Shout out to Alora Ford for focus. And shout out to Ga Ga um, Gabriel Aguilera and Ella Calfi for great participation. Mr. Cole wants to give a shout out to the eighth grade for the, for, um, for the Forestville Teen Clinic presentation participants for making good use of the Zoom meeting lessons. Boy, Mr. Deets is having a lot of trouble talking today. And finally, Ms. Jax Lewis wants to give a shout out to some fantastic math students. Through perseverance and determination, they got a smart score of 100 on some challenging IXL topics. Great effort to Sabrina Angel, Brandon Beal, uh, Delaney Bowman, Christopher Lindemann, Angela Mora Garcia, Lexi Anderson, Sophie Behrens, Roy Calva, and E.J. Whaley. Great job, you guys. Well, there we go. That's about that. 
it's amazing to think that we have been in distance learning now for a year. Um, I must say that I am so incredibly proud of all of you guys. You've persevered through an incredible time that you'll be telling your children and grandchildren about one day. You have really done your best to embrace distance learning. None of us wanted to do this. None of us have enjoyed it. But you know what? You've made the best of a rough situation. That's all we can ask. And I really want to give a shout out as well to your parents as well. Thank you for all of your support, Hillcrest families. Thank you for coming and picking up materials when they need to be, helping to get the tech issues ironed out, helping to keep your kids motivated on those days. And I'm sure they want to do nothing. They absolutely did not want to get on a Zoom lesson those days. Thank you so much for everything you've done. And of course, a huge shout out to the staff of Hillcrest Middle School. I am honored to work with people like you who've dedicated themselves to working with children and who in the last year have pushed themselves harder and farther than I expected them to be able to do. You created a, a, a model for distance learning that was, that was taken and shared with other schools around Sonoma County. You've made sure to engage our students on a 99% rate on most days. And no matter what, you've tried to do everything you can to still engage and have that personal connection with each and every one of our kids. I, I'm floored to be able to work with people like you. I feel so lucky to be here. I feel, be, I feel so lucky to be a hawk. All right, that's that. You guys hope you've had a great spring break. Remember, spring has sprung. Get outside. Get that natural vitamin D. Drink lots of water. Enjoy yourselves. We're all, I think we're going to get through this thing sooner than you know. We're in trimester three right now. Let's have a great end of this school year. That's about that, ladies and gentlemen. And as always, soar, hawk, soar.